when you set up a ac home charging for your ev what should be do your, your setup should you go for a 3.2 kilowatt should you go for 7.5 kilowatt should you go for 11 should you go for more we are going to discuss exactly that in today's episode hello everyone welcome to the green and clean youtube channel my name is vital before i start today's topic i just want to thank a few of you who have uh, messaged me asking for uh, some car reviews uh, about some suggestions buying suggestions of ev cars etc uh, etc et i i really feel honored when you do that but to be honest uh, i don't want to do car reviews and to be honest there are many channels out there which will help you out in this many uh, ev car review channels many suggestions uh, that you will see and um, I, I don't think i do a better job than some of those channels so this channel is pretty much restricted to uh, something around the ecosystem of ev including my own personal ev ownership experience so i i aim to only cater to a, a small niche of audience uh, here so uh, that's what this channel uh, will concentrate on and if you are somebody who's been watching episodes of this channel regularly and if you have not subscribed then a kind request to subscribe to the channel like the videos share the videos because even though the, the viewership is small it helps to know that there is a small uh, niche ownership uh, viewership uh, for this channel and it really helps me go and create more content okay let's start today's topic when you are installing a home charger what should be your speed should it be 3.2 should it be 7.5 should it be 11 or should it be more i will approach this problem slightly differently you know when you pump out one kilowatt for one hour into your battery you get one kilowatt hour or one unit of electricity so if you are using a 3.5 3.1 kilowatt uh, charger for one hour then you get 3.1 kilowatt hour or 3.1 unit into your battery and you know one kilowatt hour of uh, battery would give you easily six to ten kilometers so if you multiply uh, a safe number let's say 6.5 with the uh, 3.2 you will get something like roughly about 20 kilometers of range in one hour of charging in 3.2 kilowatt charger now we know everybody a lot of you stay at home a lot of you sleep at home at least eight hours a day the car is in your garage so you can potentially charge eight hours uh, a day let's say a minimum of eight hours a day so then that becomes 3.1 into 8 which is 24.8 kilowatt hour multiply that with 6.5 uh, kilometers so you get around 160 kilometers of driving range every night uh, in your ev now the question is do you really drive 161 kilometers every day every single day probably not because the national average is something around 30 to 40 kilometers per day for a, a private car um, if you have ev let's say you drive a slightly more even if you say 50 kilometers per day then one night of charge and eight hours of uh, charge with 3.2 kilowatt uh, charger will give you enough range for three days so that means even with a low charging speed as 3.2 kilowatt you can still afford to charge once in three days for your daily commute requirements so that is the number that i want you to keep in mind now let's look at differently so if you are uh, if you're doing it let's say 1500 kilometers a month roughly then you need about 230 kilowatt hour of uh, electricity into your battery and doing it at 3.1 kilowatt charger you need roughly about 74 hours of charging time in a month so if you take that as eight hours or uh, uh, one full night so 74 divided by 8 which is one full night you need roughly about nine days of charging uh, in your ev so that's how less a normal uh, private car owner would be charging their ev so and i'm just giving this example with just 3.2 kilowatt speed and if you talk about 7.5 it's more than double so every night if you charge with 7.5 kilowatt you'll get 320 kilometers of range are you going to drive so much in a day probably not there could be some days when you would uh, be going for a long trip but those are exceptions most of the days you are probably good with just 3.2 kilowatt of uh, charging speed and, and the second thing you need to consider is what is the charging speed that your car supports you might buy a 11 kilowatt charger but if your car only supports 7.5 then it's going to be of no use some cars have even 3.2 kilowatt of uh, ac charging capacity so first check what your car supports before even thinking about what should be your charging speed now you know that if you charge your battery slower its life is going to be better slower you charge better it is for the battery so my suggestion is always if you are a normal user 
doing 50, 60, 70 kilometers a day, then 3.2 kilowatt with one night of charge or charging every second night will be just enough for you. And not just that, uh, the slow charging speed is better for the battery, it is better for the grid. Imagine you set up uh, 11 kilowatt AC charging and your neighbor also does the same thing and the next door neighbor, if three, four houses in a row uh, do 11, point kilo, 11, 11 kilowatt uh, of charging at the same time, most probably the transformer is going to collapse or something might happen in the wiring of uh, that particular uh, region. So it is it is quite dangerous for the grid also if uh, everybody opts for uh, uh, high speed AC charging and uh, you are probably just uh, making it a little bit worse. Next comes the expenses. Remember that most of the residential houses come with a single phase electricity uh, with a, a sanction lo load of 3 or 5 kilowatt uh, of sanction load. Now, if you want to do 7 kilowatt of uh, EV charging, then most likely you have to increase your uh, maximum sanctioned load to at least 10 kilowatt. That means you are going to spend additional 5 kilowatt of uh, um, upgrade cost uh, with your for your EV charging. And those are not exactly cheap. Here in uh, Karnataka, if you have to upgrade your uh, uh, electricity to, to let's say 10 kilowatt of max sanctioned load, then it's going to charge something like around 50 to 80,000 rupees just to extend your load. It may be one time, but you're still paying that cost. And um, in, in your monthly bill, there is a fixed amount per kilowatt that is getting charged. It's around 120 or 130 rupees or something like that. I don't know exactly, but let's say it's 120 rupees per kilowatt. So if you go for a 10 kilowatt sanction speed, then you are spending about 1,200 rupees of fixed electricity charges, irrespective of how much electricity you use. So every month you pay that 400, 500 rupees extra versus when you have five kilowatt of sanction load and multiply that through the year. So you are going to spend around six, seven, eight, ten thousand per year uh, on, on, the, uh, on the fixed cost itself. And not to mention the cost of the chargers, 3.2 kilowatt hour chargers are cheaper, 7.5 uh, comes around uh, I think 40 to 50,000 and then uh, 11 kilowatt hour chargers come around 60,000 or more. So those are pretty expensive. and. If you don't need such high speed, then why spend extra money for nothing? And not to mention the higher charging speed would need thicker wires, more gauge for the wire. So there's going to be additional expenses for the wire. Maybe some of you have to uh, change the wiring uh, of your house if you go for like very high charging speed of 11 kilowatt and more. You have to convert your single phase connection into three phase uh, and extend your load to 15 kilowatt so that you can charge 11 kilowatt uh, of speed. And that's how uh, expensive it could get. And you might think that oh, I, you need uh, the fastest charging available and then you'll realize that you have spent that money for nothing. This high speed charging of uh, 7 and 11 kilowatt might help in the case of uh, days when you, let's say, get up uh, early in the morning and decided to go on a long trip that uh, morning or that afternoon and you want to uh, top up your uh, battery in, in a few hours and, and that's when it will be helpful so you can charge uh, the car in quick time and uh, head off. But most of you, I guess, will be a little bit more planned than just getting up in the morning and deciding uh, to go on a long trip uh, somewhere. And another important thing is uh, if you go for a 3.2 kilowatt charger, most of the time it will be a portable charger. Not only it is cheap, it is portable as the name suggests. So if you go somewhere, you can carry that charger along with you wherever you go. Whereas if you go for higher chargers like 7 and 11 kilowatt chargers, they are mostly wall mounted chargers. That means it will be just lying in your garage and uh, if you go somewhere else, then you can't carry it around. So having a portable charger, 3.2 kilowatt is just fine in most cases. And I've been owning the EV for almost like two years now and I don't have a wall mounting charger. I just manage it with just the portable charger at 3.2 kilowatt speed and I've never seen a need of uh, a faster charging than this. All I spent for my uh, wiring was around 5,000 rupees uh, for the charging setup. and. I already had a 5 kilowatt of uh, sanction load and with 5 kilowatt of sanction load I can very easily charge 3.2 to, to the EVA charging and this charging happens like not more than one or two times a week and it is just fine and I have a, a BYD E6 with a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack and such a big battery pack I am managing with 3.2. I am not saying that uh, everybody should manage like me but I am saying that such cases are possible. If you are like me who travel say less than 50 kilometers a day. 18,000 kilometers a year, then you don't really need uh, fast charging. But 
I can understand if you have more than one EV, let's say you have two or three EVs in the family and you need charging for that, then it makes sense to have a fast charger. Or if you are operating a fleet, if you are somebody, a businessman who goes like 200, 300 kilometers every day, then it makes sense to go for a real fast charging, like 7.5 or 11 kilowatt of speed. Otherwise, I guess for most of you, for average users, going with 3.2 kilowatt charging speed is just enough. Well, that's it for today. I hope you like this episode. Thanks a lot for watching this. See you again in other episodes of Green and Clean YouTube channel.